fuck is that? Hello beautiful and amazing people slash bastard butcher in the building Warm welcome to my channel and another Division 2 build video And today I will show you Immortal Nemesis build But before we start today agents can I ask for one little favor guys Please, if you are new, hit that subscribe button. Let's reach those 10k subs. We are so damn close. It would make my mother very, very happy. And finally, I would leave the basement. Uh, I hope finally I will leave the basement and move to the living room. Uh, those hopes. Anyway, guys, you know how the system works. Share this video, click that like, or leave a comment or dislike this video. You are the best of the best in the business and with no further ado, let's get into it guys. In this build we gonna work with synergy between gemmer pools, preservation and of course that nasty nasty bloodsucker talent which gonna give you insane amount of armor. Agents, everything amazing is really simple. Maybe you know that with gemmer pools you can activate wicked. But maybe you didn't know or didn't notice that with Jammer Pulse you can activate as well Blood Sucker and Preservation Talent on your gun. So you can get basically 20-30% armor back by killing one skill. One skill. Could you imagine how much armor you can get in PvP in conflict if everybody right now is using skills guys, it's insane. And as usual, before we start, I just wanna let you know that we have some sponsored ads and if you don't have enough time or good teammates but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then Deving.net is site for you. They have absolutely amazing team on Xbox, they will complete your order twice as fast now guys everything is safe this boost happens with account sharing guys if you will not receive your item on time refund will be given to you immediately and with my promo code rbdiv you will get 15% discount on all services it's amazing deal actually right now there is going on sale for exotic request chest piece so definitely don't miss out it's dope chest piece for pvp and pvp also, before you buy something, please contact operator, he will tell you all the information you should know because right now I think there is some issues with PayPal, so right now only direct money transfers is working, so keep that in mind and contact operator. And now let's get back to insane, unkillable build, this nemesis build guys is insane, you can play with it, it's really versatile. You can play around so many talents in this build. You are walking machine, pure nemesis. And guys, like I said, everything works together with that preservation and bloodsucker. Bloodsucker works actually really, really like Memento. Bloodsucker works like Memento. Of course, it doesn't have that one extra skill tier and uh, weapon damage core attribute, but I'm talking about that bonus armor. When you will kill somebody with Memento, you have to pick up the token from the ground. But with Bloodsucker, that's not the case. You will instantly receive bonus armor and that will activate your Intimidate talent and chest piece as well. If you love the DPS builds, or maybe you could use Obliterate 
instead of chess piece, I'm using exotic chess piece, which gonna give some extra life to my teammates. Not only for me, it will work like unbreakable talent, but I will keep alive my teammates as well. That's really handy support build. This is support build, guys. So you can have fun in PV with this. Nobody will kill you in PV with this. Build because you have insane armor regen, armor on kill is out of this world, that's super super dope build and like I said this set is really versatile. You can use for example second Bellastone armory piece to get even more armor on kill or use maybe Murikami for extra armor regen or go with Fenris, Sokolov, you name it and play with SMGs with maybe Emmeline's Guard, you name it, and use Intimidate date or Adrenaline Rush, you have really, really huge potential in this build, guys. So, you can play around, but keep those core pieces, which I have on my build. You can change only chess piece, and basically that's it. Other pieces is must have, guys, so keep that in mind. And as usual, enjoy the footage, I have tons and tons of uh, manhunts, kills, conflict matches and for that, like I said, hey, maybe subscribe, definitely hit that like and share this video, it would help me a lot and keep me alive during those tough nights oh, when I am making the content for you guys. Quite frankly, you keep me in this game because damn. That's, we need some content, content, we need some content and ASAP guys, can I have a man? <laughs> guys, okay, enjoy the montage and I will be back with my build guide. Agents, if you want to be updated with all the best PvE, PvP builds, hey, maybe subscribe, definitely hit that like and share this video, it will help me a lot. And now, with no further ado, let's get into my nemesis immortal build. Look at that bastard, he looks so dope, doesn't he? Damn, he's beautiful with that machine gun. Oh, I tried to pull that all the looks and attachments and I think we have pretty good job done here. Guys, for specialization I'm using Gunner for armor on kill, increased fire rate, foam grenade and bonus armor with medkit. And of course that minigun, that iconic minigun with Nemesis, you know, that steam. where he destroys every damn thing. This is pretty iconic and that's the reason why I'm using Gunner and like I said, all those benefits with armor on kill works really well with preservation talent and our main talent on the backpack. For the guns guys, you could run the mob, name it shotgun or maybe scorpion in PvE or PvP, but I would suggest you to stick with the mob because that preservation guys works so Dirty with 
Jammer Pulse, guys, if you didn't know, Jammer Pulse when will kill any skills, will activate that preservation talent and blood sucker. And when you have 2.1 million armor, baby, the results will be ridiculous, guys. For second gun, I'm using new name with the Sarl Rifle Test subject because it has perfect in sync talent and it works really well with your shield. And now I will demonstrate how Jammer Pulse will work when it will destroy other agent skills. Oh, did you saw how quickly we got our armor back and how much bonus armor we have? And it will work with your Intimidate talent, play with that, you name it. Like I said, this build is really versatile, you can play around with some pieces. I would say, quite frankly, you can play around with chess piece, but you can use whatever talent you like and for pistol I'm using Orbit with perfect finisher because when you will kill somebody with this gun and switch to your main gun or weapon you will receive crit chance and crit damage boost as well. That's really really handy in PvP, but guys, Jammer Pulse is so so dirty with blood sucker and of course with preservation talent and in this case guys we have 2.1 million armors from blood blood sucker alone from one kill you will have 12 percent armor back from preservation and of course gunner you have almost 30 percent armor back when you have 2 million armor guys holy smokes I think now you understand why this build is so overpowered and for chest piece I'm using tar degraded armor system. Why this chest is so dope? It works just like unbreakable but this chest piece will give armor to my teammates as well. When they will lose armor my tar degrade chest piece will give them bonus armor and it will be counted as bonus armor which gonna activate intimidate for them as well of course if they play with intimidate if you play in solo mode of course it doesn't matter to you you could use a simple unbreakable or maybe your second bellstone armory piece for extra 10 percent armor on kill that's just insane with perfect efficient or maybe intimidate or obliterate it truly depends on your preference you could use efficiency efficient sorry talent unbreakable or for dps obliterate or intimidate you have four options if you play solo and don't play pvp for pv you have four options for pvp i would suggest you to stick with the third grade armor uh, chest piece because that works really well in pvp you will be amazing amazing support build especially when you have 2.1 million armor and we have insane armor regen as well and agents for the backpack i'm running bellastone armory with perfect blood sucker from one kill you will receive 12 percent armor back not even mentioning armor back from your preservation and specialization guys 12 percent from one kill and you can stack it 10 times so in total you can have 120 percent bonus armor guys and when you have 2.1 million oh boy you will have more than 3 million armor that's just that sounds ridiculous quite frankly and when you will kill those skills jesus christ god help other teams it works really well, you will, so, you will be really really strong and you have of course armor regen from Bellastone, One Piece and Murikami named knee pads. I'm running two bulwarks for that total armor but like I said, you this build is really versatile. For PvP I would suggest you to stick with this setup because you don't need damage, you are really tanky, you will take all the DPS, you will take all the attention from other agents, you have everything it takes to be the best team support player. For PV, the different story, you can use Unbreakable, use some offensive core attributes, or maybe use Perfect Efficient, it works really well when you have 2 million armor and armor regen or maybe go with obliterate intimidate and it still will work because intimidate will be activated from bloodsucker and obliterate works at, with, usually with any gun so everywhere is some kind of benefit but you could use one gila guard for more armor in that case you will reach 2.2 million armor like i said it's really versatile it depends how you like to play this game 
but that synergy between preservation, specialization, and bloodsucker is just out of this world, guys. It works so, so damn good. You will have insane amount of armor back with the gemmer pulls. Of course, thank you for watching. You have been amazing. Love you all. And see you really soon. Enjoy this video. And of course, hit that like, you bastard. Ah. <sighs>